At Lanti a vivere. Hello, my friends. Agarto a vivere, shambhala a vivere, le muri a vivere. Hello, my friends. Uh, Denisa Honoria Russo-Ordeni told me uh, when uh, she was, she had syphilis or AIDS and she was burned alive uh, after being strangled by the people in her village but I have met her up before that, uh, shortly before that in 2008 and 2009 and she told me that I should not consider myself superior or inferior to, inferior to other beings because we are all like uh, pages in a book. I cannot do the work of a peasant and a peasant cannot do the work of a king. And a king or an emperor cannot, cannot do my work. And uh, people ask me, what have you done in all these years? Uh, I am going to punish you, kill you, cure your mad brain. Although it is nothing wrong physically with my brain. Why do these people in my family want to put me in a med hospital? There is nothing wrong with my brain and there is there are plenty of wrong things with my teeth, with my arm, with my hand, my leg, my uh, spinal column and my heart and my lungs. Because there is a certain way in which society is organized. I haven't done anything. I only wrote 43,000 emails, made 300 YouTube videos, and I told you what to do. And you did it. <laughs> Congratulations, you did it. <laughs> and uh, there are five types of leadership or, or leaders. The worst type is the one who gets nervous a lot, works all by himself, and everyone ignore him. Many people say that I'm that, that, that type of leader, but I'm not. The second time, the second type, which is less worst, is the type of leader like uh, Triambo Sescu, who swears a lot, threatens a lot, and people fear him and do what they require, but he is hated by everyone else. Then uh, the first type is Victor Chorba, then who is ignored, then Triambo Sescu, then the third type is a type of leader who is loved by everyone else and people do what they are told because they love him, like Ion Iliescu. The fifth type, now the fourth type, the fourth type is the type of a leader who works in the shadow like I do and tells other people what to do and they do it and he doesn't get exposed because you know when you get exposed bad things tend to happen to you people envy you because of your wealth power they want to shoot you they want to kill you they, uh, you see what happened to britney spears dear britney how she was destroyed and killed do you know this is a trap in which all the demigods and demigoddesses fall because they uh, when they are young they act like you know like yeah children well i want to change the world i want to make it better and they behave like themselves and then the mad evil world pulls upon them and ha! eats them alive. And that is what has happened, unfortunately. And then it takes a long time to rebound and become yourself again. But this is happening. Also another trap is to please the world. True leaders do not please the world, they lead the world. Like Julius Caesar did when he battled lions and tigers in the arena and then he told us people that Rome uh, uh, has fallen, that the troops of Pompeii are entering the city and he believes in a greater Rome in a dream called Rome and they stoned him alive. <laughs> but the Rome was saved for another 500 years. So, and uh, finally there is the fifth type of leadership which are the monks who live uh, secluded and no one knows about them. They live from the donations and uh, people find good word when they go to the, so people go visit them, they are well known, then leaders go visit them, then they, are, then they are talking with the leaders and the leaders do what the monk told them to do, but they always say that they did it. <laughs> so in the end, those people remain ignored and unknown but they have changed the world.
I don't know if I have the power or the courage to become the fifth type of it. <laughs> Maybe I should. Maybe I should afford, like Zanoxes said, that I should afford to lose my house like Laurentio Marin wants and become uh, uh, a beggar on the street. And then I will afford to be, you know, good with everyone else and light and then so on. And people will come visit me and they will give me food and money. Because now, you know, I could ask for donations, not even my sister will not give me money. Not even Calypso will not give me money because I have not yet revealed myself. And I am not, yes, I'm the great god Apollo, master of philosophy and arts, master of purity. Yes, I'm also the praetor of the great council of Atlantis, but what I am truly in my heart. This pathos of my heart must be exposed to the world. I believe in a greater Elada. I believe in an, in an Elada like the Golden Dawn who is leading the world by example. I know that the dragons, the dragon king and queen, the, the Elizabeth II and the queen uh, of external dragons, Galak, who is now living in America, want. They don't believe in democracy because it is not, uh, because the way of the jungle is that the superior animal protects and eats the inferior ones and so they don't believe in democracy. They believe uh, that Greece should be destroyed. That is why they yes, we will give you free money, <laughs> take it. And after that, oh, you have a lot of debts. Now we are going to take everything from you, your islands, your resorts, everything. And uh, uh, after that, after that, what will happen? Well, Elada will become pure again. People will become poor and pure by necessity. It is a necessity when you are poor to become pure. When you are rich, you can afford to behave in a mad way. When you are poor and you, heavily you are heavily dependent on other people, you cannot longer afford this. You must become pure in heart. So, about Laurenti Marin again, this charlatan from Cluj. He specialized in uh, exchanging apartments. He was a guru colonel, a GRU colonel from Russia, from Lubyanka. His other head told me about Lubyanka or Lubyanka were the headquarters of KGB and NKVD and the Oprichnia is located. And uh, his father told him to uh, let people swear you and then you take their money in their apartments and they as that he takes a mad woman or someone who is heavily dependent on him because they got uh, their apartments from him and then he fucks other people call that guy tell him that blah 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 that I'm evil to you let you go to the police and uh, uh, at the, the tribunal that guy is exactly what to say and when uh, his main ally comes his main ally is actually an ally of Laurentian and he loses everything he, to lose his everything, and then I went to say, well, you have a two-room apartment, I have a one-room apartment, let us make an exchange, plus your debt of $10,000, or you just owe me. And he said to me, well, you are going to sleep with the angels, you are going to pay in divine justice for the crimes of your father, because you only have a one-room apartment, and, uh, and, Uh, we will reduce you from one to zero. You will you leave um, in Kia in um, no or landlord. Yes, landlords. We are living in we are living in the medieval times. We still have landlords. Let me tell you about the great personality of Mobutu Sese Sekong Gebendu Vazamanga. He was a dictator and president of the Central African Republic. Mm. And then his name means the great Mobutu, son of the sky and all the gods. Uh, the great son of the great gods. Mm. My son, Artemis. <laughs> Leader of all the people of Africa in the black race. 
and he was living in the Central Africa, the Central African Republics, it lies exactly in the central parts of Africa. And he was a cannibal. He had 16 wives. He took even a wife from Romania and he ate him, he ate her alive beginning with her breasts in his uh, uh, flying jet, flying airplane. He had a delicious meal with that poor Romanian woman. So he had 16 wives, but he was constantly eating them and exchanging them. And, um, yes. And he was a good friend of Nicolae Ceausescu, who provided him with fresh meat. <laughs> no, I, I greatly respect women. He did not. <laughs> and um, I love women. I want to have seven virgins from the army, seven virgins from the seals, and seven virgins from the church. Uh, so when I, I will be in 10 days uh, 36 year old, I have already passed the dragon male test. I no longer, I no longer ha hear those mad voice matter in my head telling me to go fuck all the women and leave them pregnant to go in the jungle and fly out the jungle and pick small animals and devour them and also to um, hmm, yell in the jungle to fly over the jungle to fly. I cannot fly long distance because I only have s three small wings the dragons have two and four great wings so this is stupid, this idea is stupid uh, because I'm Dovakin or half-breed or the dragons say I'm half-dragon my father is a vampire, my mother is a dragon with two heads. And now I'm looking for Princess Mihaela, who looks like a flying reptile, like a flying reptile, like a dragon. She has seven big mouths. She has seven heads. On each of her head there are seven horns. Uh, the length of her wings is uh, two and a half meters. The wide, the, there are about 30 centimeters wide from the middle nervure to each side. Uh, she has uh, b b b seven cans. <laughs> she has um, 56 wings and legs, 28 wings and 28 legs. Uh, and um, she's very fuckable. <laughs> She's very likable, and um, uh, I love her. I have to meet now with her. You know, the sister of Denisa Honorelus or Deni has replaced all the photos of her sister on Facebook with her own. She's blonde and a little bit taller. Her sister was brunette before she was burned alive, and she had uh, the sign of leadership of the dragons here or here in the left or right. Eyebrow, but sh her sister does not have because she's not a leader of the dragons. You must lead at least seven dragons. Uh, and yes, I know the grey dragon wing, which is led by Brittany, has 132 dragons, and she is the 133rd dragon in it. And there are five uh, uh, blue dragons in the middle, which make a, a, a reverse uh, pentagram. In the middle, she, it is the golden dragon, her, and uh, there are another five red dragons intertwined in uh, with those. Yes, it is a good, and there are yes, there is a good setup, a good setup. Yes, but I'm the Tsar of Krishan Ardell in Transylvania. Actually, in Agatha, I'm only the Tsar of Transylvania, uh, of, of Ardell. And Ardell com contains Krishna, Maramuresh, Banat, uh, Transylvania, and Ardell, and Fagarash. And Fagarash, no. And Io, I have to say, Io as un tahar, un ag, Luciar, ot Ardell, Luciano, Krishna, Luciano, Transylvania. No. Mm. Hmm. I have seen uh, the secret diary of Britney Spears on the web. She is very lovely. A little bit on the, mm, you know, doll size. <laughs> yes, she was very lovely. Mm. Now she got a little bit bitter on X Factor. 
she got older and a little bit bitter. But you know, she's the same lovely Calypso. Calliope is the muse of our Calypso. Is the muse. I always uh, intertwine. <laughs> great dancer, she was in the Olympics, gymnast, you know, if you're doing gymnast when you're old, when, you, when you're young, when you're older, you no longer have problems with your articulations. <laughs> um, hmm. And so, it begins. I am the true Apollo again, even if I don't look like an Apollo. But that is it. Hmm. <sighs> so the people from Agatha should have come and clean my house before the Christmas I stay with my house dirty and my Christmas tree unmade but maybe I will make it for 16th of January you are all invited to Zolo 43 apartment 5 8, 7, 6, 6, 7 in the evening p.m. Romania's time hmm. Eastern European time and um, Zorlo 43, apartment 5, uh, Cluj Napoca, Cluj, Romania. Yes, that's my 455, the postal code. Hmm. The block RC4 with flats. Are we going to have a big party? I will have a lot of uh, knowledge. I have a lot of knowledge about the dragons, but I will meet the dragons in their dragon form. And I will have a lot of uh, duties and... Uh, yes, um, I was unable to cure myself for the problems which I had in uh, 2008 with Dacia. My first and second dragon, Dacia, the dragon with two heads, the, the Dacia Severano, Se Sophie Severano. I went uh, with a sword at her house. I did not cut her hand, I did not set her with the knife, only with sword, I asked her to be my wife and she made a complaint at the police station and people, the noble and my family said, well, because you do that until you are 40 or 36 years old, you no longer have uh, any right to go outside the country or have medical attention and you can die on the street, we can, we no longer care. And this also uh, applies to my mother, I mean my aunt, because my mother was a dragon with two heads and my father decapitated my mother and only my aunt remain, which is the same Alina Ilalak. Huh? And, uh, yes. I will tell you the history of Atlantis soon, the history of Dacia, how we arrived here to Oslo. And I, I have already told you the story before, but I want to develop it more. Hmm. And so it begins. I, when I will finish all my stories, I will be uh, relieved of my command. I will be relieved of my duty to speak uh, these stories. Because, you know, I say a little bit of history of Atlantis, of Dutch, uh, my own, my own family. Uh, I tell you what to do. I behave, yes, like an old man, like an old god, like uh, Natalie Portman does. Uh, my sister, Artemis. Bye.